Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner as usual is Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Jan Regensburg and they face Köln. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, the 4 4 2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the fullback and winger, and of course the centre backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. So the starting 11 for Köln. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. And the match is underway. Anthony Modest. Oh, the ball lost here. Max Bezuskov. Oh, great vision. Of possibilities inside the box well he didn't miss by all that much well he struck it quite nicely but the keeper was always in control of the situation he knew that was going wide Chan. A sloppy pass. Florian Kainz. Timo Hubers. Here's Skiri. Every pass hitting its target. But just like that, possession changes hands. He's in behind. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? And he's fired over the corner. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? And there's the delivery. Well, there! Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal.
So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. And a poor ball. It needs an accurate cross. Uzchan. Elias Skiri. Will he find the net? Not out of the woods yet. Well, what a stop that was. Terrific piece of anticipation. Benedict Gimba. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Florian Kainz. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Could be a chance to break here. Can they take advantage of the situation? Well, as you can see, it's been all Colwyn in the last 15 minutes and their attacking play has been excellent. Surely only a matter of time before they extend their lead here. Anthony Modest. And players waiting in the centre. Will it happen for them? Kainz. And he's won the ball. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Well, not one, Stuart, that's going to live long in the memory. Well, I think the manager might disagree, Derek. Any way you cut it, it's a wasted opportunity. Kilian Ljubicic Ut with it Florian Kainz and he's kept it out fully stretched somehow reaching it Can he deliver it with accuracy? Insufficient accuracy as regards the corner. The first half here comes to an end. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Well, that piece of play, very easy on the eye. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. And breaking at pace with Menace. Lovely ball over the top. Not high quality defending.
Kainz. Mark Oot. It might be. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space. But he still had some work to do. And I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. Mark and You can sense the threat is there And a fine cross Well it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper Now can they counter clinically Well that break looked so promising But nothing coming from it It needs an accurate cross. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Well, no surprise there. Colwyn have had more possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Must be! Just failing to hit the target. Good effort, though. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And into the last 20 minutes. Benedict Gimba intercepting it intelligently well play stopped it is a free kick no card but the referee clearly stating that's the last warning Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Benedict Gimba. A very timely interception. It looks promising. Here's Skiri. Oh, body in the way, crucially. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, here it is again, and the keeper's lost his concentration here. He's totally in the wrong position. He'll be disappointed with that. Is 
this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. On the ball, Otto. Zana. Sing. Benedict Gimba. Giving the ball away. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. All hands on deck. And space for the cross. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Given away again. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, I thought he was excellent. Not only did he score a good goal, but his general play was outstanding. He certainly played a major part in their win here today.